Plan B and the Prince of the Forest. But they go. Bambi always looked for the tall, handsome stand in the meadow, but he didn't see him. One day, he told Gobo and Flynn about the stag. He was taller than the stags in the meadow. His antlers were bigger, and he had a beautiful coat. Bambi said. I remember I told of us about the stag," said Flynn. "He's the prince of the forest. He's the, the biggest stag in the forest. He speaks to nobody, and nobody speaks to him." "I'm afraid of him," said Gobel, "and I'm afraid of men too." Man said, "Bambi, who's man?" Gobo and Flea looked at him with big eyes. "Don't you know, Bambi?" they said. Then Flea ran away through the grass. "Come on, let's go and play," she called. The next day. In the meadow, the deer suddenly called their fawns. Then they stood and listened. They were afraid. What is it, water? Bambi asked. What are we listening for? We're listening for man," said the Bambi's mother. Who's man? Bambi asked. But his mother said, "Be quiet, Mumbi. Listen." Soon the deer said to their fawn, "Fawn, it's okay now. Go and play." But Mumbi didn't want to play. He walked away into the forest. Who was man? And why was the deer afraid? Wanted to know. He saw a dancer, and then he looked up. There, above him, was the queen. You're not calling for your mother now, the prince said. No, prince said Bambi. I can't stay alone now. Good, said Bambi. You. Started to walk away, but Mummy said, "Prince of the forest, please, Prince, who is man?" The prince looked at Mum. Listen, man, and see," he said slowly. Then, underneath. Bye, my bye. Thank you for watching.